Good morning, everyone. Well, we're coming towards the end of the year, and that means a lot of people are going to be making New Year's resolutions. Now, depending on what studies you read, that means that you probably, if you're doing this, you've probably got somewhere between an 8 and 45% chance of sticking to that resolution for any reasonable amount of time. That isn't very good odds. And so I was thinking about why we continue to do this when it's such a notoriously difficult thing to do. Well, obviously, we desire change in our lives, and New Year just seems to fit, just seems to be a really good time to make a change because there's some sort of psychological reset switch that occurs on the first of January. But I think there's a couple of reasons why we don't do that, or why it doesn't work so well. The first way that we set ourselves up to fail, I believe, is no accountability. Because if you don't, if you're not accountable, and you've already been on this same trajectory for years, then if no one knows about it, you don't have any social pressure in order to change your behaviour. So that would be number one. Number two is the fact that we set ourselves up to fail by not preparing. We say, oh well, I'm just gonna try harder. And usually, if trying harder would have helped, it would have helped by now. So we need to prepare for victory, find out what works, talk to people who have already done it. And even if it makes you feel stupid, ask those questions and figure out what it is that you need to apply in your life that will help you to be able to do that. The last one that I'm gonna slot in here is that I, I really believe that we suffer from over, uh, information overload. Now, I'll probably talk about this all by itself another time. But generally speaking, this is something that's helped me. And that is, if you want to achieve something, I personally have a tendency to research it and research it and research it and then research it and not implement, not actually apply. And so if you want to do something, be it a change in to your, your um, lifestyle pattern or a change in your business or whatever, I research how to do it, but then I often find it difficult to bridge the gap between research and actual, uh, and actual work. So nothing ever gets done and I just keep reading about how other people have done it. So I would definitely recommend, one, recognize, recognize when you have enough information. When you have enough information, stop looking for new information, just start applying it. Okay, this point will be realistic goals. Because it's so easy to say, oh well I want to be here, when there's a whole bunch of steps in between that. And if we, if we are setting hard goals, then we are often setting ourselves up to fail. To give you an example, if you set up your um, your goal for the for the new year, for example, to be, I want to um, exercise more. So you exercise more. You, you say, I want to do it every day. And so you do it every day for two weeks and then you fail one day, you don't do anything. And so then you feel bad, then you just give up and go back to the way you were before. Rather than doing that, make your um, your New Year's resolution, I'm going to exercise for, even if it's three days out of, out of every week, or two days, or even if it's one, I don't care, but whatever it is, do it at a level that's going to be manageable. Because only then when you do something that's manageable can you sustain it. And then when you can sustain that, then you add a day, and then you add a day, and then you add a day, and before you know it, you're doing the full thing. So the, the, the road to behavior modification isn't always this massive break from the norm. It is often incremental. And if you make it incremental, you make it doable, set your goals just low enough so you're a little bit embarrassed by how easy they are. And then from there you can advance. That would be my advice. So anyway, I hope your New Year's resolutions are successful. And um, if you plan to make any, I was saying before that accountability is a really good thing. Tell me about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you're planning to do. So I will catch you guys next time. Bye.